everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are new here though my name is Hermione and you are watching one of the 12 DIYs of Christmas. Today because Christmas is getting closer and you've probably done a lot of the decorations and gifts already I wanted to share some DIYs for some winter clothing ideas with you. These are really simple ideas that you can use to upcycle clothes you might already have or clothes that you can buy quite cheaply or even in a charity shop, thrift store, wherever. So I hope you guys like these ideas and they inspire you to get creative this winter season with your clothing. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. First up is this faux embroidered denim jacket. I love denim jackets with quotes or patterns on the back. So I decided to make one for myself to show you guys just how simple it could be to upcycle your old denim jackets too. I started with this denim jacket that was £4 from my local charity shop and I flipped it over so that the back was face up. I decided to add a quote which said be kind and I used a sharpie to draw this on but somebody forgot to turn the camera on while they did it, oops. So here's me frantically adding a few branches at the end just to show you what I was doing. In hindsight I wish I hadn't done the branches because it kind of took away from the quotes but you know. I should have just turned the camera on. Anyway, so I'm using this thick chunky wool in the same kind of shade as the denim jacket and all I'm doing is adding this to the lines that I've previously drawn with the sharpie to outline my quote and I'm actually using fabric glue sticks in my hot glue gun which you can get from any good craft store or you can use regular fabric glue which will also hold up really well in the wash just check the directions so as you can see I'm just winding the wool around the letters taking my time and doing this in very small portions to make sure that I don't make any mistakes and that I cover all of of the sharpie up. Now I did actually have different plans for this jacket. What I was going to do is do this step and then embroider over it with different colours so that you couldn't see the wool and it was going to be like a 3D kind of embroidery but I loved the wool so much that I kind of ended up just leaving it. I guess I will try that technique another time but for now this is the design that I ended up with. Once you're at the end of your design let your glue dry and once it has dried if you did use hot glue you can actually just use a hairdryer to get rid of any of those strands you know the hot glue kind of spiderweb strands and there you have it you have a faux embroidered denim jacket it's super simple and a very quick way to upcycle any denim that you might have lying around Next up is a very quick and easy way to upcycle any sweaters that you have lying around that you think are just a little bit too plain. If you're like me, you've been wearing sweaters all winter and you just kind of want to DIY them up a little bit. So I'm going to show you how I added these jewels really easily onto the sleeves of this sweater. I picked up some sew on jewels in my local craft store. They have two holes on either side. They're kind of like a button and all I'm doing here is sewing them on with a needle and thread. Super simple, right? You'll need to sew these on about five or six times just to make sure that they're going to stay in place and they're not going to go anywhere. This might take you a little while but it's a great activity to do in front of Netflix in an evening. This is how mine turned out and I'm really pleased with the result. I'm seeing star prints and cosmic prints everywhere so I decided to try and upcycle these jeans by adding a few details like some stars and moons. They're very simple to do so let's get into it. For this project you'll need some jeans and you'll need some sequin strands. I've used these in a lot of my Christmassy videos because Christmas is for glitter and sequins. Once again I am using the fabric glue in my hot glue gun to attach these. If you are worried that that's not going to be good enough you can use regular hot glue which seems to keep things in place really well and all I'm doing here is just gluing the shapes of a few stars and a moon. You can draw these out beforehand if you would like but I decided to use the sequins as my guide and I did every length of the star with five sequins and then I would turn it to do the next star point if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Anyway um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Very simple. Just another glue gun DIY but I wanted to show you that crafting and DIYing doesn't have to be difficult. 
and it can be accessible to everyone. There you have it, some sequin cosmic style jeans. Winter is the best time for wearing sequins, gems and all things glittery because if you can't wear it in winter, when can you wear it? And moving on, this one's just a quick hack to make your sweaters look a little bit more interesting in the back if you just want to spice up your wardrobe a little bit. So this is a bow back sweater, let me show you how I made it. I started by taking an old sweater and then I flipped it over to the back. I wanted to cut a really low back into it so I started by shaping out the area I wanted to cut out. I ended up going a lot lower than this in the end but what you want to do is make sure you've got kind of an equal amount on either side. Keep eyeballing it until you're happy with the result. We will be folding this over to make a hemmed edge anyway but just keep cutting until your U-shape is nice and rounded. Once you have that, go ahead and pin it in place. This is when you want to spend a lot of time making sure it's nice and even on both sides and there's no weird lumpy bits. Sewing in a U-shape can be quite tricky, but it will be worth it. So once all of your pins are in place, you can go ahead and sew this on the sewing machine. Take this nice and slowly so that you have a nice even line all the way around and if you are worried about sewing it on a sewing machine, you can definitely do this by hand because there really isn't that much to sew. Once you're finished, you can pick out the ribbon or the lace for your bow. I'm just using this plain white lace and pinning it on either side of the jumper, making sure that each piece is lined up nicely in the middle and it is placed on the underside of the jumper. I then went ahead and sewed this with my sewing machine once again and that's literally all there is to it. All you have to do is tie it into a bow and you're done. This is just a fun way to make any sweater look a little bit more interesting and upgrade your outfit just a little bit with a fun bow. So that's everything for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you make some of these. I'd love to see them if you do. Don't forget to uh, tag me on Twitter, Instagram, all of those places. And if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know that you like this kind of video and DIYs in general. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I hope you're having a wonderful Christmassy season and I'll see you next time. Bye.